My role here is uh, leading curriculum change in, uh, in these areas, uh, both uh, using technology and changing the curriculum to meet the needs of a 21st, 22nd century um, learner. So I run the PD, most of the PD with the staff, uh, and um, lead them through the change by modelling what we do uh, within the classroom. So uh, at the moment we're looking at different ways of delivering the curriculum, uh, project-based learning, um, scenario-based learning, design thinking, and seeing what works for our students and what doesn't, uh, and using those as ways to develop our curriculum. Uh, it's, uh, I guess, the way it's going to be directed in the future and what works best for our students and help the staff see them, uh, see different ways that we can uh, deliver the curriculum. So uh, in terms of uh, sort of a I guess where we've sort of led to is after all the changes is uh, what works best for our boys. So we're looking at uh, delivering a project based gamification uh, curriculum to our students in 2018. How that looks, uh, the nitty gritty details are still to be aired out but delivering uh, project based learning where the boys are out there, they're getting involved in real world learning experiences, uh, projects, uh, presenting, uh, we think that will work best for our boys and at the moment we're just delivering PD and uh, within the uh, and within the class different curriculum ideas uh, to see what will work and what won't work. Looking at sort of how our structures can fit into our 21st century thinking moving forward, uh, one of those structures being our timetable. Uh, we've gone to a 100 minute timetable, so currently doing a whole lot of um, literature review and an upcoming inquiry um, project around how our pedagogical approach can work within the 100 minute. Um, period utilising the key competency skills and the 21C skills that we see as important for moving our students forward um, into their new environment. Our collaborative approach um, is moving forward. We began last year. We looked at um, combining some NCA classes um, to work together to make it real world experience um, for our students. So for example, we've moved from having a straight geography and history class to a sustainability class uh, where we bring in standards um, from each domain and a biology standard as well and, and create a course that students can find purpose to, mean meaning to um, in our real world environment and, and really isn't really important to break down those silos and the biggest key component there is staff willing to share um, and to let go of some of their information that traditionally you know, they've held on to for a long time. A lot of our work comes through our OneNote platform uh, where we're able to provide an opportunity for staff to provide collaboration opportunities for our students to feed back from each other, for students to feed back and give feed forward to each other. An opportunity where online um, enriching tasks um, are able to uh, provide the ability for our students to move forward no matter what environment they're in, whether they're sitting down in front of you or they're in another teaching space within the, in the school.